They started blasting up the race course. Are you gonna show these UFOs who's boss? Well, am I gonna show these you? Oh shit! Well, tell you what, that was crash and burn in under like three seconds. Only Ryan could do that. Hello, how's everybody doing? It's Ryan Padecki here, doing part five. Spyro, you're the dragon. Let's play. How's everybody been? And, and I really mean that. How have you been? I sincerely want to know how you were doing. I'm doing good. We're still playing Spyro, you're the dragon, obviously. And, uh, you know, just finishing up, clean that, cleaned out that little area down there, we left it off with a few more gems and enemies, cleaned it up, didn't need to see all that, just searching around, making sure we cover all bases of the X and Y plane, as I was talking about earlier, that I didn't quite know, had to do a little Google search, cause, you know, gotta brush up on that bad math of mine. But we got some secret areas over here that, well, I guess you'd never really even call them secret areas for Spyro, because they are pretty much out in the open. But there's, the, you know, the little side missions that you don't have to do, but they're for extra eggs and gems to complete up all the levels. Blue to the Rhino has challenged us to a naval battle. A naval, oh my god, I'm so ready for it, let's go. Oh, I remember this part too. I remember having a hard time with this when I was a wee child of the sort. <laughs> Of the assortment, but then I, or then I replayed it, you know, on PSN when it was a PS1 game and or a PS1 classic, and then I remember it being much easier. I just have to remember how to handle him, which is this, which is this, waiting for him to uh, stop and stuff and not mess up and and whatnot. Don't hit me! Whoa! Okay. Had a little second of silence. Had to had to had to keep my my balance, my focus. This a bitch, you gonna die today? After I <laughs> get some uh, missiles. There we go. Now I got plenty. Oh God! Metal shark. You know, it's one thing that it's a shark, but it's another thing that it's metal and, you know, still able to float. Not that, you know, there's actual naval ships. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. I gotta have one. F I gotta run out of ammo right when he's about to be out for the count. Do not fix up your thing. Ah, uh, now he's under water, too. Great! As Tony the Tiger would say, and his, you know, uncle from Sly Thieves in Time, in the drug situation. No, 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 we ain't doing that, buddy. We dying, that's what we doing. Hey, you got an egg for me? Smelt of the seal? <laughs> Smelt the seal, that's an action. That is not, that is not your name, that is something you're doing. What are you, in Minecraft or some shit? Fucking mining some seals to smelt them and fucking, hey, Jackie. Hey, Jackie, that's like from Roseanne. Oh, I love Jackie and Roseanne. Anybody like Roseanne? Roseanne fans? Anybody? Love that show. My mom loves that show. Loves the show. I always get her, like, the DVDs and stuff. And then I, t I always told her, I'm like, Mom, you know, the whole series of Roseanne's on Netflix. And she's like, oh, that's cool. But I'm, you know, she's not the kind of person that's into the internet and all that. And she's not, she's not, she's not in tune with any of that stuff, right? But then I was like, look, Mom, I'll get you an Apple TV. You can use my Netflix account, and we can, you know, we'll get you set up. We can start, you can start streaming. It's really fast, no commercials, all that. I'm trying to explain to her why Net why Netflix is awesome. I finally get her to get an Apple TV, and we sign her into Netflix, and she's like, I can't find Roseanne, and I'm like, well, what the fuck? I Google search, and it fucking <laughs> their deal ran up. <sighs> trying to tell people why stuff's awesome, and then the the bullshit of the internet has to step in. Well, it's not really an internet thing; it is a uh, you know contract sort of thing. But even still. Wow, well, I tell you what, I'm missing some uh, some bottles over here. I'm sending out an SOS for Spyro to crash through with his head and horns. And then the, S the SOS is actually just gems. I'm giving Spyro my gems to find. Sp oh, and hey, Spyro, I just found this egg lying around. Take it. Her name's Susan. The... Egg grows up to be Susan Sarandon. Great actress. 
Yep, don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, let's answer some, answer some questions. There's also a way, there's also a second a uh, area to this, so we're gonna we're gonna jump to that. But while I'm loading, up, oh, it's already done loading. Can't read the question. Fuck it, I'll stay here and read a goddamn question. You know the trials and tribulations of this. Who asked some other effing stuff? Sonic Dud One, Sonic Dude, what's going on, man? You're always talking, always being a faithful viewer. I appreciate you, and you got questions. Now I noticed you asked this one a lot, and I always forgot to uh, answer it. Uh, you asked, "Do I have a girlfriend?" And if I didn't, would I want her to be a gamer? I do not. I do not have a girlfriend. I'm not seeing anybody currently. And do I want her to be a gamer? That'd be awesome. I mean, I certainly certainly wouldn't object to that. But she doesn't have to be a gamer. Oh, I remember this. And so one of these things, it's like, you know... Wow. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to hit all the Rhinox. Yeah, this one's... The, I remember replaying this a lot. Oh, God. This is going to happen a lot. <laughs> this is going to happen a lot. A lot. Um, she doesn't have to be a gamer, obviously. I don't, you know... I'm not gonna downplay girls like that. Plus, that's that's a really demanding thing to ask of somebody, like a girl gamer. Girl, girls are definitely in the minority when it comes to gaming. They are not, you know, they are. Just, there's not a lot of girl gamers, and that's the simple truth of it. Wow, definitely gonna have to probably skip this. Um, point being, yeah, she doesn't have to be a gamer. But like, it totally, totally awesome. I feel like a girl gamer that would be something I could very easily get on board with, you know. Because uh, I think one of the biggest issue, one of the biggest things when it comes to, you know, guys and girls being together, it's finding common ground, things you can be interested in, and you know, men and women have very different tastes. M women like to, uh, you know, and this is just you know pigeonholing them. I mean, obviously, all women like to do diff two different things, but for the general consensus, you know, girls like to go shopping and. Uh, maybe they're into makeup, and, you know, it's just, it's all this stuff, right? And guys are into sports, and they're into the video games. It's, and sometimes it's very hard to find that common ground between a man, a man and a woman to have a good, a good, healthy relationship. Uh, so I feel like if a girl, if you, you know, a girl gamer is definitely the sort of thing where it's like, okay, you can, that'd be awesome, you know? But it, I, and it speaks to anything, you know? If you're into sports, it'd be awesome to find a chick that's into sports. If you're into... You know, golden showers. It'd be awesome to find a partner that's into golden showers. I'm, I'm just saying. You know, it is a an example. Uh, I think I saw the dude down here. I want to get uh, Sparks back up. There he is. Hey, give me your. Yay! Uh... Hey, oh, that's a skill point too. Did not know that. Well, smash through this bad boy. Hope that answered your question, Sonic. My plan Stanley. That Stanley, what are you doing here? You should be in South Park. Aw, I freed them. I forgot to tell you, one of the Rhinox gave me this egg to give to you. Hey, when you see Spyro after he kicked my ass, give him Dizzy. And tell you what, Dizzy Dizzy had to go that fast because he was that dizzy. He had his, he had to get medical attention that quickly. Which is, you know, shocking. How often do you ever have to see a doctor because of how dizzy you are? Is that even a thing? Is that even a medical condition? How dizzy you are? Maybe it is. Well, I mean, if it's one of those things where you're feeling dizzy and sick and then you pass out, and yeah. Well, I think we did a clean sweep here. But not really, because we did. Oh, did we? Yeah, we did Sheila's thing. All right, so we didn't get everything. So, because obviously it didn't say, oh, yada yada. Hop to the secret cave. Oh yeah, that's right. Cause uh, there is a there's a secret area. Well, don't know how to get to it, cause as I've said, I haven't played the game in uh, quite a long time. Still a little uh, iffy and scratchy on everything, so uh, I'll probably cut to that footage, and uh, I'll just start looking for it now. Yep, over here probably would have been a good place to start checking, and I remember earlier how uh, <laughs> I was trying to jump over here. Like I knew that I had to come back here no matter what. Ah, uh, yes, 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 I know this. I, I remember I had to come back here, but I didn't realize that it, it right here was just the the place to go. But I am going to need to uh, hover on over here. Let me tell you, and that's not going to do it either. That's not going to cut the cheese, huh? Who cut the cheese? Uh, da uh mm, who did it? Uh, I'm trying to make a Roseanne reference, but I can't remember her fucking name. Um, not Darlene, the other sister. <laughs> the episode where she cut the cheese, and she's like, "Oh yeah, oh Becky, Becky cut the cheese." Thank you. Whoa, no, 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 no. Aw, oh, man, I fell. Well, gonna go back up there. 
And I believe this is not even the right way to go. Yep, it's obviously not, because uh, the other door's on this side. There is gems up there, but you know what? That's not all the that's not all the gems, and that's not all the eggs. That is not the egg I'm referring to or anything. So it looks like there's still some secretness to go on around here. Well, I'm pretty sure it's in here because I do remember. Yep, look at that. It's up there. Yeah, it's coming back to me. Slowly but surely. Hey, look at that. We got an egg. Jared. It's a good name. Jared. Aw, oh, bye, Jared. Hey, this should be the last. Well, that's all the eggs, but this should be the last of our. Ooh, it possibly is. Maybe yes, no. It is! Four hundo out of four hundo! Level complete, man. Let me tell you. You know what that means? It means we bouncing out of here. <laughs> N pun intended. I was gonna say no pun intended. It's natural to say no pun intended, but right here, I'm totally intending that pun. I want you to get it. I want you to take it in. I want you to soak it in. I want you to laugh at it. And if you don't laugh at it, that's just fine. Stop watching. Because that means you won't find me funny. That's fine. Don't find me funny. Frankly, I don't think I am that funny. <sighs> that was not me trying to get laughs either. I really just had a really bad snort right there. I don't think I'm going closer to the portal. I think I'm going away from it. <laughs> but, oh, well, the gate's right there. So we'll just take this bad boy to where that gate is. I believe it's right. <gasps> get on in there. Hey, what are we doing now? We are going to go to... What is it called? I know the area, but I keep forgetting the names. Let's head on over to the balloon. Oh, okay. Later, though. Later. The balloon's already that's that's great. Yeah, but no, I'm not. I'm not ready to do that. No. We still got stuff to do over here. Sparks. Come on. For a second, I thought it was gonna give it to me, but then I was like, that's they're not gonna give it to me yet. Are they? <laughs> well, you have to do some stuff first before you do that. Hey, let's get up here. See what we got going on. Yep, it is open. The sort of, uh, you know... This is this is the section of the game. Every uh, little thing, every um, world in Spyro, You're the Dragon, has these speedways where, you know, you gotta do a bunch of set challenges that are, like, you know, outside of the realm of the traditional gameplay. Which challenge would you like to play? And... Let's go for time attack. So we got the, uh... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, so ba yeah, that's basically what it is. We got a bunch of, uh, different tasks to do. Most of it's just, again, flying through shit. Oh, shit, I already messed it. Yeah, see, you want to, uh... Yeah, give up. I'm a loser! Gotta did the, it's obviously the the only way to really complete this is to do it in a, all these in a row in sequence. That's how they are. They're sort of str strategically placed this way. Flaming up, the spiders over there. These are fun too. This is and this is one of those because uh, every game should really have this. You know, sort of set place where you're still playing the game that you like, right, but it's just, it's something different, you know? You always gotta try and keep keep stuff fresh, and, the, and extra stuff, too. You don't have to do this, but it, it speaks to the completionist, it speaks to someone who wants to, who wants to not be playing the same thing for 20 hours. I, you know, I like stuff like this. But ironically, and I don't know if this is what other people are, about, are, are like, but like, I don't know, like, say, a shooter game, for example. I only like like, in a, in a shooting game, there's, there'll be sections where you're, you know, like, driving and shooting and stuff. Like, you're on the back, like, in Call of Duty, there's missions where you're doing the tank, or you're uh, piloting a plane or something. And I don't, I don't like those moments. Purely because, I don't know, I feel like a shooter, you just want to keep shooting. And it's, you, you want to move around in the battlefield and all that, but I don't know. Sections of games like that, I don't like. Like, in Resistance 1, where you're uh, in the section of the game... We get in a jeep, and you're driving around a very large level, going to separate spires and all that, or not spires, but like little uh, chimera stations. I didn't like that level, just because, I don't know, I just I like the confined areas. And it is something different, but like for that specific instance, I don't know. I guess, I guess it sort of works better for platformers, for me at least, you know? Race the butterflies. 
And this is fun too. And like I said, a lot of these platformers, uh, like Spyro, Jack, uh, Ratchet, they all had like flying sections of the game. Or not flying. They all had racing sections of the game. Which is... It's cool. And, and uh, Naughty Dog did it like a step further by, you know, doing Jack X combat racing. Am I allowed to kill the contestants? Is that a thing? I forget if that's a thing. Probably not, because this guy's, uh, apparently flame retardant. But we're moving along, easing and breezing. These, uh, butterflies don't pose much of a threat as long as you are obviously hitting all the rings and all that. We are neck and neck. Oh, and you're obviously moving faster than them. I've kind of proved that right there. Oh man, I need, I need some tissues. I'm always I'm so lazy when it comes to running running out to the store and getting one thing. If I don't if I don't need multiple things, then I don't then I am not gonna go out for like one thing, you know. I'm just lazy for that with that stuff. Hey, I'm still in third place. Damn, what's taking me so long? Yeah, that's bullshit. These fucking butterflies don't need to go through the rings. What kind of shit is that? They're so close. And yet so far. This music's awesome, too. Listen to that. Shit gets you pumped, man. Wow, he's uh he's solid. I can I can actually touch him and not uh, and, and he'll get in the way. Wow, I'm not doing that good right now. Uh... Ha, he didn't take the shortcut. What a dummy. And Ryan moves into first place. Oh yeah, hot babes waiting for me at the finish line. And that's a dragon egg right there. Right? Yeah. And then there's a hunter's dog fight, I believe. That's what the name is. I'm not entirely. I don't remember. It's not. Oh wait, wh what? Isn't there like another thing here? Hmm. I could have. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. It's not in the options. You have to like go look for him. Completely forgot. Yeah, you gotta hit this, and then you gotta like look for him. He's out here somewhere. Just, uh... Oh, shit! Do not do that! <laughs> yeah, Square will, uh, get you to, uh... Pretty much, uh... Submit to your flying. Where is... I can't fly that high enough to the world. I think he's on a, uh, mushroom. He's not on mushrooms, but he's, like, he's on a mushroom, like, island or something. He's here somewhere. There he is, you snake in the grass. Whoa, holy shit. They started blasting up the race course. Are you gonna show these UFOs who's boss? Well, am I gonna show these you? Oh shit! Well, tell you what, that was crash and burn in under like three seconds. Only Ryan could do that. Only Ryan. That's uh, that's exclusive to my YouTube channel. Do I not have? Oh yeah. I was like, do I not have weapons? Damn, bitch. Get out the- oh shit, oh god! Fuck. It's one hit kill. Which is like, not good. Whoa, Whoa I'm gonna do it again, that's right, yeah! Alright, here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna take care of business here. Now if all else fails, you've seen enough gameplay to know what this is, and I'll promptly skip forward. I feel so like, not good that I have to like skip gameplay because I I just can't you know <laughs> do it so easily but uh it's kind of dangerous to be behind them like this that's kind of why they allow you to move so quickly you know you got to pick your battle with them ah oh, fuck well let's go again Cause you know I watch other walkthroughs and let's plays, and those guys can they they can they can just go right through the game, but you know they just got something that I don't have, and that's just like I don't know, I'm good at editing skills. Maybe they are failing at it, <laughs> and they're just secretly putting it in there like they're just completing it that e that easily. But 
I'll tell you right now, shit ain't easy to commentate and play games at the same time. At the same damn time! I just gave up on that UFO over there. Whoa, holy shit, I almost fucked myself right there. Motherfucker. These fucking things are crafty, holy shit, dude. Well, at least you don't die from, uh, just ramming into shit. Finally. There we go, we're making some progress now. How did I not get that guy? There we go. Slowly but surely taking care of business. Dirty jobs, getting down to it. Dirty jobs, ain't nothing to it. Someone's gotta do that dirty job. Love that show. So upset that they uh, canceled it. Where the fuck is this guy going? There we go. Where's this last little pussy? Boom! And we did that without, uh, much trouble. But thanks for the egg, Hunter. <laughs> Tater. Tater salad. Alrighty. Where are we going next? What are we doing here? I'm good. We'll bounce on out of there and get ready for the get ready for the next challenge. Tekken. Yep, that's right. Tekken reference. Hmm. Well, let's get a look at our atlas and see what's going on next, people. Well, we're pretty much ready to move on to the next world, wouldn't you say? Buzz's dungeon. Yep, because Molten Crater we just can't do right now. we got to wait for Sergeant Bird. Uh, so that's fine. We are ready to move on. Who's ready to move on? Everybody? Everybody? Show of hands. Okay, okay. One, two. Okay, Jen's not ready. Jen's not ready. We're, mo we're, mo we're proceeding without her. Goddamn fucking Jennifer. Let's go, guys. Yeah, what the hell are you doing? Holding it down like that. Where to go? Mini Guardians. Uh oh. Bianca strikes back. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I I've tried to scare him off, Your Highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him. Uh, kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. Okay, let's see what we've got here. This ought to do it. You, come here. Oh shit. And yes indeed people, that is the first boss. Super excited to fight bosses. <laughs> oh shit. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. Well, I would love to beat this boss with you guys, but I won't do that until Monday. I'm Ryan, but I can thank you for playing with me and help me fight this creature.